Hey guys, Chris here from PBX How To's. Talk to you today about Avaya's documentation library. I find it a valuable asset to me when I'm going through all my troubleshooting or I'm looking up uh, how to program something. Um, but it, it's not easily it, it's not easy to find information, um, and that's just because of the sheer vast amount of features that are in the Avaya systems. Okay, and how many systems they have. So I'm going to help you nail down what you're looking for, and specifically I'm talking about the PBX. And I'm going to, I'm going to talk about 5.2 because that's the one I have currently. I haven't upgraded to 6.0 yet. So I'll talk about 5.2 and how to find it. And I'll also put these links in the description of this video so um, you can easily navigate to it and find the documentation library. Okay, So from here, from my webpage, I type in support.avaya.com. And here I am. I'm at support site. Now, this is my personal opinion. I've never liked a via support site. It's never been real user friendly. But over the years, I've figured out how to use it. Um, but again, some of you may have or some of you may have the same complaints, but against my personal opinions. So let it be as that. Anyway, so documentation, documentation library. Now, what it does is it brings you to the A to Z list. All right, so you're going to be looking up, and, and you could be looking up Definity. You could be looking up Communication Manager, but you're not going to find it, all right, <laughs> because it falls under what the new name is today, and that's Avaya Aura, okay? So you go down, you find Avaya Aura Communication Manager. Once I click on that, it's going to bring me to the latest documentation library that is out there. Ah, look, I lied. It's actually going to take you to 6.0. Um, that's because I was looking for this earlier to do this video. So anyway, but it's going to take you to the latest one that you uh, th or that that's available out there. Um, so, but like I said, I'm doing 5.2, so I'm going to go up here and click on the release drop down and select 5.2 because that's the library I want. Now, once it loads to this page, you can see here you can click on this. Now, I didn't log in, as you can see. I have not logged in, so this, this documentation is available to you today free, and you don't have to sign in or anything. You can just go get it. Once I click on it, it brings up a little download, and it's about 270 megabytes, which is about right, and I'm going to save it. Now, once I save it, I'm actually going to cancel because I already saved it. I uh, go extract that, and here's what it looks like. It, it basically looks like what would come on the CD. You can auto-run this, which essentially that application, that autorun.exe, opens up this start here okay so we're going to open that up and here it is all right this is what comes out on the cd for the documentation library for 5.2 now you can either search the library or search the catalog index i always search the catalog index because i'm usually looking up error codes or alarms or things like that and it brings up you know very limited amounts of search but it brings up what i'm looking for instead of thousands and thousands of pages because when you search this index it's going to look for every or it's gonna the word you type in to search for, it's gonna bring you back every document it finds that word. So <laughs> I dare you to click on that and type and A N D. <laughs> Good luck. It's gonna search every document that has an and in it, including this one here. Actually it won't bring up this one. So uh, you can click on any of these and it's gonna bring up the documentation related to this area. Okay, so about a via or a via or communication manager, and it talks about you know the understanding, the designing, the implementing the administering, which most of my videos are going to be covered under these documents here, the basic administration, quick reference, the uh, advanced administration, basic diagnostics. But again, I'll go in more detail and more user-friendly uh, videos to help you through a lot of this. Now, documentation's pretty vast. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty big, all right? So if I click on the via communication manager or uh, basic diagnostics quick reference, it's going to open up this this document here okay and this is just the PDF it's the the one PDF that's associated with that link that you clicked okay and this talks about keeping system information checking system status solving common problems diagnosing a problem um, but like I said I'll go through a lot of these alarms and errors and this this documents only 74 pages as you can see okay so again basic diagnostics um, <laughs> Let me show you the, the document real quick on the alarms. Now, the alarms, that's a little bit bigger file, 1,738 pages just on managing your alarms, okay? There's a ton of procedures in here, and it talks about every single thing that the Avaya Aura or Divinity has at this level, 5.2, everything that it supports. 
There's BRI ports, there's CO trunks. I mean, th it talks about everything in great detail. It tells you if, um, when you're doing a test, if it's service impacting or not. It, you can find everything and anything that's available to you as a customer in this documentation. I live and die by this documentation. I have since for my whole, entire career. Um, because one thing I found when I was working at Avaya is when I'd have technicians or business partners call in going, hey, I need help. And I would say, okay, what's the problem? And they'd say, well, my trunk's not working. I'm like, okay, well, did you go in and did you actually troubleshoot the trunk? Um, did you did you go test it? Did you do anything? No, I just called you. Well, that would annoy me because this documentation's out there. It's free. Go do your job, do your part, and try. You know, this is how you learn. Try to troubleshoot the problem by looking up each of the things. List trace, uh, display alarms, display errors. Do those things. Go to the documentation. Try to figure out what's going on. And if there's a major problem, it will tell you. It will actually tell you to escalate the problem. Okay? If you cannot fix certain things, it's going to tell you, look, th there's a problem with this. There's nothing you can do about it. you got to escalate the problem because you either got to replace hardware, you got software corruption, or it needs a patch, you know, something. But th do the basic things that you need to do in your system before you call Avaya because that's going to speed through the process. There's a life cycle of support here, and that is you call support. They're going to help you, but they can help you much faster if you've done a level of troubleshooting, a level of programming, um, kind of that wave because a lot of these guys, you know, they just get in and they start doing it because they've, they've assumed that no one's done anything. So it's okay to tell the support engineer, hey, look, I've gone in and I went through the maintenance commands. I tested all this, and here's what I found out. What's your email? Uh, I will send you the list trace that I took. I'll, I'll send you a snapshot of the display alarms. He's going to get in the system anyway, but at least that, that shows him that you did something that, to troubleshoot this and you need his help so he knows where to start looking. He doesn't have to do anything basic. All right, so that's the Avaya support documentation. Um, I'll reference this a lot, but again, this is just a quick overview of the documentation, how to get to it. Uh, quickly for your system. So I will link to this to my video. So look in the description for that. As always, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, let your friends and uh, colleagues know about this. I really appreciate it. And I'll continue doing these videos as we continue on. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.